Fueled by DeathCast. I can still go out and play on a new record that's going to be strong, you know? Definitely, definitely. And I want to talk about it because you guys have been talking about it now for a couple of years. Is this the year we're going to get the new record? From Exodus? I don't know. I, I know one of our guitar players who's the main songwriter, and everybody knows what he's doing right now, right? <laughs> Slayer. So what the hell am I going to do? You know what I mean? Right. I got to get go, hey, while you're on tour with Slayer, can you write a new record? You know what I mean? It's like, I, I, I think, just to be honest with you, I, I think we've all put it, the fact that we would rather him come back with his head fully back into Exodus. Yeah. With not having to worry about Oh shit! Well, I got to get the record done in the next three months because I got to go back out with Slayer in three months for after that. I think since they've announced that this is it, then uh, we're just gonna kind of let it go <laughs> and see what happens from there. I know that there was there was scheduled writing that was supposed to go on between Tom and Gary this month and next month because Slayer doesn't go back out again until the middle of March. Uh-huh. But I know that. Um, you know, I, I I think what we've planned is we want the best Exodus record that it can be. So it's not like we've got to run into a studio and go, shit, we better go write 10 fucking songs so that we got some product out there. I mean, I don't care if it takes six fucking years. And when it comes out, it's going to be grand and it's going to be great. And Gary will be then back full time. Yeah. And so it'll be the, uh, the, you know, the ultimate force of us back, you know, since I've been back... And now it's going to be, well, almost five years. Uh, uh, I've played probably more shows with Craig and, than I have with Gary. Oh, you wow. Know, but uh, but um, um, Gary is Exodus. Gary's been on every record. He's the writing direction and lyrical direction and all that sort of thing. So I can't look at it like um, it's, uh, well, let's just go write it, you know, and he can come in and play his rhythms and then go back out on the road. We're not we're not we're not we're not trying to cheat the fans like that. You know what I yeah, mean? It's yeah. cool. We got you guys still like everybody likes to hear Bonded by Blood. We'll for the next year we'll go, we're gonna celebrate the fortieth anniversary, we'll probably playing that, playing fabulous, playing stuff off the Rob Dukes era, you know, there's ten albums worth of material. There's lots of good songs to play. It's not like did you ever get sick of going to an Exodus show, you know, yeah, there's always yeah. some type of mayhem going on. So we'll continue that for the rest of the year. But it's very much in thought that we have it's time. <laughs> it's so time. <laughs> to me, it's like, oh, God, I'm just dying. I want to write it so bad, but I know how good it'll be, and I don't want to uh, you know, rush that process or rush him in that process. You know what I mean? I don't want to make him, like the four of us, you know, call him, look, we need to get together and put a record together. You know what I mean? Everybody knows what the... What the what the deal is on the table right now. So well, it, that's sounds, it sounds like your patience comes with experience. Have you, I think the, I think the fans too, though, because they look at the fact and know, look, Gary's in Slayer. You know, we wish Jeff could be there, but Jeff can't be there. And Gary's been there forever. And they've now said, you know, they're going to say goodbye to the world. And, you know, uh, why would I try to jam him? You know what I mean? I don't yeah. think that that's a, a, a conducive for anybody. And, and it's not conducive for the fans because in the long run, you're going to get a record that we, hur- we hurried through so you guys can have product. And that's not how Exodus has ever worked. 